Yo, what's going on everybody? Cody Von Dell here. Today we're actually gonna take a little break from designing graphics, illustration, logos, and all that kind of stuff to just explore some new technology. We're going to take a look at Polycam, 3D scanning, and some fun that I've been having in the past week ever since downloading the app. About a year ago, I was watching Corridor Digital and they were using this Polycam app to capture their face to use in some type of uh, 3D video that they were putting together. At the time, the phone that I had wouldn't run that app. So I was watching another Corridor video much more recently and they were using Polycam again and I thought, wait a second, I can use this app now. So I instantly downloaded it. The first thing I decided to do was uh, capture this little boombox that I have for my boombox collection. And then I tried to capture my cat and because her, she kept moving her face, uh, we wound up with a couple of really strange things like this. So when she went for her afternoon nap in the sun, I was actually able to catch this and I was really happy with it. So the next thing I tried to scan was one of my guitars and I tried to get it in as much detail as possible. And when I ran the data and, and processed it, uh, it, it came out that it was, it was like sort of a really crappy version of my little home studio that I work in. And so that's when I started thinking, well, what if I tried to capture the whole room from all angles and see if I can't like really get like every little detail of my work, working living space and, and just see if it works. And so, uh, that's pretty much the process I went through and it actually turned out pretty cool. There were a few little things that I probably could have gotten a little bit more detail on, but overall it turned out pretty nice. I was really excited about it. So now that I'm completely engulfed in the metaverse after 3D scanning my room, I decided to do something extra strange and that was to bring the object, which was my room, and blow it up into full size so it was almost like I was in my room within my room and it was totally glitchy and totally wild and it looks sort of like this. It's really strange. So when I 3D scanned my cat, she was laying on the bed, but when I opened up the object in my room and made it full size, she was in another place. So walking through, you see my cat over here, and then eventually you see her over here. And it, the whole thing throws you off. And I think it's, you know, it was kind of just spur of the moment, just playing around with stuff, but I think it's pretty, uh, pretty telling of how weird the future is gonna be with this kind of technology, like living in a metaverse, all this kind of stuff. I don't know how much I like it. it. It makes me feel a little strange, I don't know. It's definitely cool technology, but uh, yeah, being in my room digitally, in my room physically was a strange experience. So that being said, no graphic design today. Just wanted to show some fun new technology that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while and just recently got into it. So wanted to make a video on it. And maybe it's something that you've seen and didn't realize was an app on your phone that you can use. So if that's the case, I strongly encourage you to download it and start capturing some stuff and seeing, just, just exploring and having some fun with it. It's a lot of fun. I think ultimately I'd like to use it in some type of music video or something like that. I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around what I could do with this, but uh, yeah, it, it, just playing with it, like just gets create, creative ideas flowing. So I'm really looking forward to playing more with the app. Greatly appreciate you watching this video, even though we're not actually doing graphics on screen today. 
I appreciate the support that you're doing for the channel. Um, we are almost at a thousand subscribers and when that happens, I'm doing a giveaway. The video will be creating a ton of icons on screen and there will be a link in the description of that video where you can download that template and use all of these icons in your own graphics for free. You can also support my channel by streaming my music, watching my music videos, and heading over to my Etsy where you can download these cool holographic stickers. I greatly appreciate your support, everyone. I'll be back with another Y2K fonts video soon. You can also check out my other more recent video where I kind of show some of the big 80s chrome lettering that I did for Addie Shane Carr's Guardians of Justice, which is now streaming on Netflix. to hop on our discord we have a really fun community building we are sharing tips tricks our works in progress sometimes i'll upload little clips of things that i'm working on before i actually post them here on youtube so it's a really cool way to get involved and be part of the community i'd love for you to stop by you can also follow me on instagram twitter and any other social media platform that you use i greatly appreciate you everyone i'll see you in the next video take care